Welcome back to all of our viewers here on Florida Powerboat Club's YouTube channel. This is Stu Jones and Ryan McCoy in the Pompano Beach studio, and we are continuing coverage of that fantastic Miami Boat Show Poker Run 2021 edition with an entirely new format featuring a Poker Run Village Boat Show in Key Largo at that favorite place called Gilbert's. And this now will be episode two in our continuing coverage. When we left off on our last show, we got the Thursday run underway with dozens of teams getting their poker card at Hallover Marine Center. Then we kind of weaved our way through the protected intracoastal waterways from North Miami down to uh, Miami downtown. And the reason for that, it was just too rough and windy offshore, creating some big seas. So we're now going to pick up the teams in Miami as they head to Coconut Grove for their next poker card. But before we do that, let's thank our sponsors. Florida Powerboat Club's 2021 series sponsors include Blackwater Boats and their sister company, Deep Impact Boats, along with their exclusive worldwide dealer, Plantation Boat Mart. Midnight Express Power Boats, Mercury Racing Wide Open, Mystic Power Boats, Myco Custom Trailers, Nortec High Performance Boats, Performance Boat Center, and our official prize sponsor, Superior Communications, providing us with Garmin and Icon products as prizes for our Poker Run events. And taking a look at our Miami Boat Show Poker Run official artwork, let's begin by thanking Nortec High Performance Boats, our presenting sponsor, along with Statement Marine, Outer Limits Power Boats, Marine Technology Inc., Legend Marine, Oakdale Yacht Club, Concept Boats, and Seakeeper. And you guys are going to love these next few minutes as we get to showcase all of the teams as they prepare to launch from Grove Harbor Marina, one of our official Poker Run headquarters, as we get started on this 26th annual Miami Boat Show Poker Run. And of course, this location, very popular with many teams like Team Black Diamond, who make this their home base every time they come in from Oklahoma. Two big 52-foot MTIs running with their team today. And, of course, that Black Diamond Express, that 34 MTI. And I know some of you guys are asking, well, where is the mother ship? Well, that big 59-foot cigarette, Toronto. Don't worry, guys. Six Carat isn't far away, and it is going to be making the run today. And, of course, there's a lot of prep work going into getting these boats ready for the run, especially with those black finishes but meanwhile all of the teams are getting ready and that's what's great about the hour or two before the poker run everyone gets down to the dock and they start spraying the boats down making sure they look good for the helicopter today and remember that so many of these poker runners have been traveling for the last day or two they've come in from out of state a lot of them got off of airplanes late last night came in on the red eye and they're now here at the marina getting ready for the big weekend four days altogether. this is a thursday departure remember we're going to be in key largo friday saturday and many of them coming back on sunday so that's four days in paradise in the middle of february and for many of these teams they had to really actually dig their cars out of a snowbank just to get to the airport to come and join us for this run and as always let's talk about the logistics for the day remember this is the shortest poker run on florida powerboat club's annual calendar just from miami to key largo of course we're going to do a lot of running around through the weekend but today's run here from grove harbor is just under 50 miles through biscayne bay so you can imagine running in one of these you know twin outboard cats these mtis and these right performance cats they're going to be running upwards of 100 to 110 miles per hour so essentially it's about a 30 minute ride today so as organizers you know these card checkpoints are really important to the whole scheme of things and to the production plans for the day we want to keep the teams moving but we want to also make it a truly a poker run and we're catching the teams as they get the cards now that was captain brian mullinax and nick buckman from team seakeeper one of our sponsors uh, they're running their new sea hunt demo boat and here's another one of our sponsor teams uh, this is tim gallagher from performance boat center and they're going to be a big part of this weekend's activities not only because they're a sponsor of florida powerboat club but because they're a dealer for many different lines including this right performance cat this 36 and of course the the 42 model also cigarette and mti and remember that this weekend's new format includes a boat show and since there is no miami boat show happening this is going to be a big sales event for these dealers and manufacturers because that Miami Boat Show is such a powerful sales vehicle for so many of these companies. And not having that really throws off their sales numbers. And I think a lot of them are worried 
about where that's going to put them, you know, with this year's sales numbers. But you know, having this uh, boat show format in Key Largo is going to really take the edge off uh, for so many of us because it's something that we're so accustomed to doing every year in February. We're going to be seeing a lot of these MTI catamarans on the run, 34s and 39s. And let's, of course, welcome our newest members, Peter and Carolyn Fink. Looks like Carolyn is probably uh, taking the car down today, but they had just acquired that boat, and this is their first poker run with the club. Shane and Helen Moreau, same deal. They just got this brand-new 34 MTI. They've been in the club a long time running a Donzi, but now they're very happy to be using their new 34 MTI. And, of course, from the statement camp, a lot of new product out as well. These brand-new 36-foot cats, Daniel Munyon in the blue boat, and that's Brian Hoare in the yellow boat, both of them powered by Mercury Racing 450s. And, of course, illustrating that growing trend towards these outboard cats, thanks to Mercury Racing and the introduction of their latest uh, 450 outboard. It just seems to have attracted so many of the cat manufacturers to keep bringing out new models. Uh, now, here's a Doug Wright, perfect example, this brand-new 390 Joe Solello. Uh, it's a brand-new boat, and it's a brand-new model. I think he got the first one. So there's a great shot of just how much activity we've got going on here at Grove Harbor Marina. Of course, a lot of the teams here stayed overnight, and they're still sitting at the dock waiting for their turn to come and get their card. But, again, not really in a hurry, guys. I mean, we're only going, you know, 45 miles today. So keeping this event in low gear right now by doing this long poker card exchange, above all, it really gives us some fantastic content because, you know, we can fly the drone around and pick up all these teams up close and personal. And I love that part of it because you can get an idea of the energy and the excitement of the event. It's just a nice vibe to be down here at Dockside and to greet the teams one by one as they come in. And for those of you who like to pay attention to the production value of uh, these videos, well, we're now flying a helicopter. So along with the drone that's been up for the last five or ten minutes, we now have an R-44 joining us flying with Lewis from Miami Executive Helicopters. The first of three days, we're going to be flying Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, a very aggressive helicopter program that we put together for this event. Not only because it's a big event, you know, seeing registration numbers go to, you know, new records, over 100 registered teams uh, when we start adding up all the participants and all of the dealers and manufacturers that took part in the event. So you're not going to capture all those boats uh, in a 45-mile ride from Grove Harbor down to Key Largo. So the idea was to keep the helicopter flying three consecutive days, and we even went out of our way to set up a landing platform, a floating barge, if you will, that is designed for landing helicopters, and it's going to be situated right in front of Gilbert's. John Cosker are making it a family event. He's got his daughter with him today, and of course the Coskers are a big part of this event, as they are with the club. Uh, annual sponsors with us once again, so they've got a good line of boats up on display. They've got the new 42 center console, and of course that new 40-foot cat, and John promises a carbon edition of that boat, much lighter, a little bit faster. That model coming up very soon. I think we'll see it at Poker Runs this summer. And, you know, to illustrate my point that I said earlier about why this segment is so great, um, you're not going to get this when the boats are running like high speed at 70 miles an hour through Biscayne Bay. David Carey, uh, one of our newer club members, he made his debut in, I think, uh, November of 19 on the Key West Poker Run. He's already on his second new midnight now. That's a brand new 37. He powered it with quad Mercury Racing 450s and... This guy goes all out. I mean, I think he watched a lot of videos, and maybe there's a few of you out there like Bob Berg and Team Artemis and maybe Ray Key and Hammer Time. But some of the teams that really, you know, led the charge with having an all-girl team uh, and having them all in matching bikinis, let's face it, guys, it's all about the showmanship. We're not competing for speed. There's no prizes for having the fastest boat. Um, there's no prizes for being the first guy there. But there are prizes for showmanship, and clearly – the sexiest crew is one of the most coveted of those prizes. And if you make the effort like David has, <laughs> and by the way, this is very expensive. He had to fly all these girls from Maryland uh, to come down for the poker run. And, of course, he puts them all up. They all get their, they all have two to a room. So, look at, count them. That's like five bedrooms right there at the Playa Lago Resort. Do the math, guys. It's, it's a big chunk of change. Uh, so, Team Punch It. Clearly pulling all the stops for this Miami Boat Show poker run. And, David, you are truly a showman because not only are you doing it here uh, in South Florida with the Florida Power Boat Club, but 
You're also doing it in your own backyard at your bar called Tiki Lee's by having your own event this summer. We're all going to be a part of it. Uh, that Tiki Lee shootout in July, July 8th to the 11th uh, near Baltimore is going to be a very exciting event with a, a racing shootout, a poker run, and a lot of parties uh, day in, day out from Thursday through Sunday. And for those of you Midnight Express lovers, well, take a close look at this 34 Rick Townsend. Yes, those are 450s, and yes, there are four of them. There's a first time for everything, guys, and when Rick Townsend involved, chances are it'll be over the top. <laughs> Quad 450s on a 34. And Dara Sariza coming up at Team ZRC. I think that's his son, Alec, up front. He's got the GoPro in the right hand, reaches for the card with his left hand. Oh, he almost loses his balance, but he recovers. Good job, Alec. <laughs> Guys, look at what a great job the team at Grove Harbor are doing with those long sticks with the little boxing gloves on the end, uh, keeping the boats off the dock. We needed to have those at Hallover Marine Center. I got to make a note to myself. Uh, just getting a close shot of the lineup here, Laughing Giraffe, uh, that's Tommy Archer with his new 41-foot skater. And again, checking out the mix of boats, you know, from this 38-foot fountain, uh, John Herman. This one powered by Triple Mercury Racing 450Rs. Uh, so, so these high-performance center consoles that we're seeing more and more of. And yet you still have those hardcore performance enthusiasts like Louis Sotero here with this 38 Donzi ZR. Big power, Mercury Racing 1075s. This boat is fast, trust me. I think it's probably a 130-mile-an-hour boat, if I recall he did a post one time. Uh, but still, a lot of these hardcore guys in the club, glad to see it. Uh, I'm sorry you can't hear these engines because this is a drone shot. There's no audio with the drone camera. But uh, trust me when I tell you later on in the show, when you see this boat run, it is going to blow the decibel meters. And it's another new team. Let's welcome Brad Carlson all the way from Kansas City. He's a long way from home. First run with this brand new 2020 Sensation 32 CCX. Check out the power, guys. Twin Mercury Racing 450Rs on this 32. What a cool ride. I love the paint, yellow and black. I haven't seen one like this before, but I think it's outstanding. Brad is joined by five of his college buddies for this first event. He says what he loves about boating is meeting new people. And another one of our native Floridians, uh, Don Goins, doing his first event with the club. Nortec 340 Sport, powered by Triple Mercury 350 Verados. And one of eight Nortecs registered for the event, of course. Nortec going to have a strong showing, and they are the presenting sponsor for this annual Miami Boat Show Poker Run. Oh, just checking out Steve holding that boat off the dock, man. He's committed. Good job, Stevie. <laughs> it's such a cool place to be hanging out down here on the docks at Grove Harbor Marina. And, you know, the funny part is it's really not a private marina. I mean, you're allowed to run through here. I mean, it's county property, and there's a boardwalk that goes right through the property. So the general public can come down and just look out at the boats. I mean, the, the boardwalk goes right through the marina. And so it's it's a good place to come down when there's a poker run and check out these teams like Brant and Jamie Daniels from Kansas. And here's the Colson family and their 39-foot Levy craft all the way from New Jersey and you know, that little girl is probably about three now, but it's not like her first poker run. She's actually done the Key West poker run before when she was, like, not even a year old. Pretty amazing. Ron and Dione Paul, I believe first-timers uh, with this a sensation, pair of Mercury Racing 450s. And one thing I can say about these CCX models, no two alike. I don't think I've ever seen two that were exactly the same. They're all so unique. Uh, the guys at Sensation in Michigan, they do such a great job. And Performance Boat Center has been the dealer for most of these sensations that you see on our poker runs. And Jackie and I finally make it up to the dock, and now we are no longer the official pace boat. We're the official chase boat. Uh, that's the way I prefer to do things. So Project 1080 HP is going to follow up the rear of the pack. That tends to be my preferred method of operating these days. And I'm trying to beat a front runner. It ain't going to happen anyway. Yes, my boat is fast, but uh, Mercury Racing 540s in this big, heavy 38-foot Top Gun. She's about a 77-mile-per-hour boat. I prefer to run about 60 and keep my eye on the poker run course. And it looks like the boats are now up and running on the Biscayne Bay waterways as we now try to zoom in on Gino Gargiulo. It was kind of hard for our FPC uh, crew to close in and get close to the boat. We had asked this crew from Nautical Network not to fly our event because we prefer to have our own helicopter, uh, but they did not respond and they flew the event anyway with, uh, without giving us any agenda. So it kind of messed us up, but uh, 
shout out to Gino and to Don Verkulen. What a cool looking 52 foot MTI. Guys, love that you support us and uh, thanks for joining us. And now catching up with Joe Sabo from New Jersey with his 34 foot MTI. First time I've seen this boat. What a beautiful paint job. I love it. Just the, the grays and the blues together. Uh, six years away from the club. Joe, uh, good to have you back. This is a 2018 MTI 340X powered by Mercury Racing 400s. What does he love about power boating? He says he loves the water and he loves meeting great friends. Now, luckily, he didn't have to travel all the way from New Jersey. He's also got a home in Cape Coral, and he was able to trailer the boat over. What I remember most about Joe was being a hardcore cigarette owner all those years. He had a 38-foot Top Gun with big power and used to go to all the poker runs. I used to see him everywhere. So good to see him back on the circuit. Welcome back, Joe. I don't know about you guys, but this is the stuff I just love. That is truly the money shot. Uh, two of them running together here on these beautiful waters. Now as we catch up with Peter and Carolyn Fink from Nebraska, their first event with the club, and they just took delivery of this 2019-foot MTI 340X. It's a carbon edition. It was owned by uh, Burton Kirsten. I think we all know them. Uh, Little Jet, it's called Mercury Racing 450s. What a great-looking boat. They were really excited to attend because they hadn't done anything like this before, but... They wanted to experience it for themselves, and they said that they really enjoyed how we set everything up at Gilbert's and gave everyone a place to hang out every day. Of course, it's no secret that MTI has got an incredible showing on this event with 18 MTIs registered. Let's say hi now to Mike Boyle from New Jersey, who also has a home in Cape Coral for the winter months. And he says in his video bio that you can always see my boat in the pictures and the videos because it stands out. And truly it does. This bright red paint job, a very fast Polini Cat, 121 miles per hour with Mercury Racing 400s. It's actually Mike's first poker run with the club and this 34 Polini Cat. Although he had done our events, with, you know, joining friends on other boats. But really he got bit by the bug because right after this, he ended up doing the Tampa run. And then he came all the way up and did the Orange Beach run as well. So I'd say that's a pretty good record uh, doing three out of four poker runs in a row. Not a bad showing. And let's say hi to Rick Davies uh, one more time. We saw a little bit of this boat in the last show. His Doug Wright uh, appeared at the Key West run in 2019. It went home for a complete refit. He owns a body shop. He stripped the boat down. It was all white then. And then he color coordinated with the silver paint matching engine cowlings. He completely re-rigged the boat himself with his friend Mike Domino. He's got his buddies Wayne, Mike, Donnie, and Sean on board for the event. And just a great shot to show the conditions we have today. A very, very light chop on Biscayne Bay. Remember, it's extremely rough offshore, so these bay waters are just beautiful for running today. And a quick shout-out to our team at Miami-Dade Fire Rescue. That's Fireboat One, and they are a part of our safety program. And we saw a little bit of this boat earlier in the poker card lineup at Grove Harbor. Brian Hoare, all the way from Vermont with his 36-foot statement cat, Mercury Racing 450s, and he is going to be doing a lot of poker runs in this boat. Uh, he's been very active with the club in recent years, uh, but now that he's got this statement, I know we're going to see more of him. He truly loves the boat and loves the performance, and I know we're going to see him at the Tampa Bay Poker Run coming up real soon, which, again, will be sponsored by Statement. And now we're going to catch up with John Kosker, Mystic Power Boats. Uh, his wife, Robin, and daughter, Rachel, are going to be working the show this weekend uh, as they represent Mystic not only with this 40-foot cat, which is powered by Mercury Racing 450s, but also they do have a brand-new M4200 center console uh, that's going to be at the show at Gilbert's. So they've got a good lineup and quite a few customers who have joined us for this event as well. So there's really a wide variety of Mystics that are going to be at the event. And I think that that really illustrates John's ability to build such an amazing variety of performance boats from his record-holding 50-foot catamarans to his family-friendly 42-foot center consoles. As you're about to see in these next couple of episodes, uh, I think John Kosker, as a boat builder, has accomplished so much uh, in such a short period of time, and I really commend him. And I thank Mystic Power Boats for being such a big part of the Florida Power Boat Club family. Now it's time for some love to MTI, you know, marine technology, 
Once again, a very big supporter of this event. Uh, they've got a big display planned for Gilbert's in Key Largo, uh, running a variety of boats. I'm not sure who's running this one right now, but it's going to be one of their factory display boats at Gilbert's, uh, the 42 or the slot 42 as we know it. Uh, wildly popular center console. Most of them are powered now by four Mercury Racing 450Rs. And, of course, a lot of custom features in this center console. An 11-and-a-half-foot beam, uh, lots of room for all your friends, double row seating, a full hard top coverage. Uh, the, I call it the queen seat up front, a beautiful sun lounge in the bow of the boat. But remember, guys, underneath is that huge cabin. So these boats have plenty of seating for 12, 13, 14 people. And, of course, full working head and air conditioning down below. And, of course, at the opposite end of that MTI spectrum is this outrageous 52-foot MTI, full canopied uh, black diamond. Belongs to Derek Wacob from Oklahoma, who spends a lot of time in Florida and a lot of time on Florida Powerboat Club events. Just taking his time right now, actually. Normally would be out running the helicopter by about now, but it seems like he's just chilling out and maybe waiting for one of the other Black Diamond boats to show up. I know that Pressure Makes Diamond has joined them, the sister ship to this 52, and of course there's the 34 Black Diamond Express. So I think that he's just hanging out here and waiting for the rest of the team to catch up so they can all get together and tie up at Gilbert's for lunch. And a nice uh, wide angle shot from inside the R-44 helicopter, that's Jerry in the front seat shooting stills as we hover over Gilbert's and you can see that some of the boats are already starting to arrive and there's going to be a lot of activity at Gilbert's today. Remember it's the first day of the run and most of the boats have decided to go with the Thursday group and not do the Friday group. That's something that was different this year. So many people were just anxious to get down into the Florida Keys and they said, you know, if I can spend four days in the Florida Keys, I'll take the Thursday run. So I think that left maybe one or two teams that had registered for the Friday run, and I had to call them up personally and say, hey, look, guys, there's nobody going Friday. <laughs> you might as well just switch your reservations <laughs> and come and do the Thursday run, which they didn't have a problem with. But sometimes we just have to go with the flow, guys, as organizers. We can put it out there in the menu, but if nobody wants plain bagels, we're not going to bring you plain bagels anymore. And just to drop a little foreshadow on that very point, you know, as we plan ahead for the Key West Poker Run 2021, you know, we're sitting here with about 150 registered teams already in early June. It's very likely that we could add, you know, an earlier departure day, uh, possibly Tuesday, or we could uh, spread out the departure times on Wednesday and Thursday to accommodate the flow of boats because we really just can't take, you know, 300 boats at one time, that's for certain. Some great shots here in the open bay waters as the teams find some open water to truly enjoy the performance of their boat. So let's just hang around in the bay for a moment here and see if you can name these teams. Some nice uh, low-level shots here uh, checking out Gilbert's. Look back in the rear basin. You can see that those spots are all empty. That's by design. Remember, we rented this entire property from Gilbert's. So they moved all of their sailboats and their monthlies into the far corner of the marina on the back side. There's that helicopter landing platform I mentioned earlier in the show. We actually rented it for the weekend. But enough about that. Sarah needs some help, guys. Guys, get down in the dock. Sarah needs some help. Try not to scratch the boat. And understand that there is a lot of current here at Gilbert. And depending on what time of the day you're docking, you need to be prepared. Uh, and knowing which way the current is running will always be helpful. So while that first round of boats get settled in at Gilbert's, let's get back out here on these bay waters and pick up some of these high-speed flybys. Let's see if it's your team or anybody you happen to know.
And here's another one of those a 42 MTI slot 42s quad mercury racing 450Rs. This one belongs to Mark Waddington from Performance Boat Center. He's down to have a good time this weekend, but of course he's going to work just a little. And a very special congratulations to Ray and Christine Grimaud from New York because they are enjoying their first poker run on their brand new Mystic M4200. It's actually their second Mystic 42. And back now in this scenic Jewfish Creek, a place where everybody really should just come off playing and enjoy the scenery. Time to take off your life jackets and reach for a fresh bottle of water. Grab your dock lines, grab your fenders, and get ready for docking at Gilbert's because there's going to be a lot of creative docking with so many boats going there for lunch today. Well, the teams just keep on coming, and I'm glad that the helicopter kept going back out to greet boats as they came in, catching up with Team Crazy Horse, Michael Friedman from the Chicago area, who has also a home in Fort Lauderdale, longtime member of Florida Powerboat Club and a big Apache lover. And here's another new Cigarette Center console uh, as we catch up now with Myrick Coyle from Performance Boat Center. This 41 Nighthawk is powered by Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. It's a boat that was featured at the Miami Boat Show a year earlier. In fact, they had, I think, two or three of them on display. And it is their newest model that is just taking the performance boating world by storm. A lot of these boats are coming out of the Cigarette Factory in various colors and configurations. But a great looking boat and a new model for Cigarette. Of course, uh, recent news from the Cigarette racing team. After 20 years of ownership, our good friend Skip Braver has sold the company to another club member, John Ruiz and his group from Miami, who are gonna be doing great things with the brand. I spoke with John last week and we're very excited to pursue some new synergies together. And of course, Performance Boat Center, dealer for Cigarette will be a big part of those plans. And now catching up with Brad Carlson one more time. Last time it was going slow, dockside, getting a poker card. This time it's on the throttles, cruising across the beautiful waters of Biscayne Bay with a Nortec alongside. This 32-foot Sensation CCX is powered by Twin Mercury Racing 450s. Nice to see that power package, making this a Sensation 32 a very fast center console. Brad and his team all the way from Kansas City, thanks for joining us, guys. And we finally catch up with Tron Scow from Nortec High Performance Boats, our presenting sponsor. Now, while this is Tron's personal boat, I do believe he's not here yet. And he's got Larry uh, and Bob Crow from the Nortec factory sales team uh, bringing the boat down to put it on display at Gilbert's in Key Largo. Nate and Robin Michelle from Louisiana didn't have their boat in town, so they teamed up with Randy and Kim Swears from FastBoats.com and chartered this 38-foot statement. Well, guys, I don't know about you, but this event is starting to look more like the Key West Poker Run in November than ever before. Just a constant stream of boats. There's that Nortec flyer followed by the 50 Nortec belonging to Jesse Newman, and just a steady stream of boats coming in here to Jewfish Creek. And I know that uh, most of these guys are wondering, well, how am I gonna find a dock at Gilbert's? That's gonna be impossible. Not really, guys, because we had planned ahead for this event and rented the entire facility with as much a docking as possible, including all of the slips on the backside. So there's plenty of docking for everybody, whether you're a participant for the weekend or a manufacturing sponsor. It's gonna be one incredible show as we reach midday on our first day of this 26th annual Miami Boat Show Poker Run. Wow, that is an amazing sight. But we have just reached the half hour mark, guys, as we close off this episode two with feature coverage of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. 
and my producer tells me we've got plenty of room for probably four more episodes. So we're going to keep them coming to you right here on YouTube, and you can't afford to miss another show. So be sure to subscribe to our channel here, and thank you for helping us to reach over 33,000 subscribers. Hit that notification bell so you get all of the updates every time a new episode is released. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events in 2021, as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page, and you guys know who you are, and I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We have got a fantastic year planned for 2021 with members of the Florida Powerboat Club, so stay with us. Meanwhile, we're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer, Ryan McCoy, in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right, and always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.